Okay, I've been doing uh, mouth stretching techniques for uh, a couple of weeks now, just playing around with them. Um, and I noticed that I could change up my technique a little bit to uh, really target the, the stretching part more. Because when I pull, or when I hold that position for a long time with my hands in the, in the way that they are, the back of my shoulder gets really tired. So I need to change that up because my mouth is actually uh, tiring my shoulders out too much. And I'm not really getting the full stretch that I'm looking for in my mouth that I want to. So I've been playing around with a, a different technique here where I can cross my hands. And as you can see, I can, uh, I can get more horse. That's, that's right, horse. I can get more force uh, when I push, when I cross my hands in doing that. And it's comfortable to hold on to the straps. If I if I just did it with the, the middle part of the tongs, yeah, I, I can't really get my hands in there. Oops. Yeah, it's a little more slippery. These handles really help out a lot. I actually put, uh, this type of thing, a different one. I made a new one that I, I don't use onto eBay uh, and I'm promoting uh, mouth stretching uh, with this type of product on eBay. Um, it's kind of a cross promotional thing because I've also diverted them back to uh, the, my YouTube so they could see uh, what I'm doing with this type of product. So it's like a cross promotional thing. I'm like trying to sell a product but then advertise that I um, I made a couple of videos about it on YouTube. But then in turn, you know, if you're well, if you're interested in purchasing it, whatever, you know, um, you can make it yourself. But this the sewing parts, you would, you'd want to have some sewing skills. I put it together with my Speedy Stitcher. Um, but yeah, with this update, I just I mainly wanted to point out that it it is uh, tiring for the arms uh, to hold it, it uh, in the position. Like this. I enjoy holding that for a good 30 45 seconds. My shoulders don't. I have to cross my hands, but I it feels really good. It's just um, not like my mouth is super tight or anything, but it just has a um, release of tension and that I didn't know existed and as I say uh, your mouth is one of your biggest communicators because it's got the most muscles as you communicate I think that's why people like looking at people's faces I, um, when uh, they listen to somebody talk because there's so much you got the up and down uh, the back and the forth and around and um, everything and then your eyes are a close second with uh, you know uh, communicating body facial type of language and stuff your mouth really you know you can smile or frown um, or be like mm, I don't know what you're saying it's a lot to uh, communicate with just your mouth um, and maybe it gets a little tight over time when you're talking or just eating whatever <clears throat> but that's the same with all muscles if you do a lot of bicep curls uh, you have to stretch out your bicep. If you only do the curls, the, the muscle will, will tighten up um, and then be uncomfortable. And your, your body is the only machine that uh, repairs itself through exercise. Okay, so you, you want to do yoga and stretching uh, for all muscles, Con consider all muscles, and, and the mouth is a, is a pretty valid muscle as you're constantly interacting with people and they're seeing your face for them to have a good impression of having a, a nice strong face can, can uh, resonate uh, with them um, more with more impact and also yourself you'll feel it with a stronger face a more uh, flexible mouth it'll it'll impact the, the rest of your your body you'll you'll you, you'll feel more built up in one part and want to catch up with the rest of your body by building up the rest as well. It's just, 
It's all baby steps and taking it one step at a time.